Yo, welcome Fronies. So today we're going to take a look at the substance transformation system and therefore also at the resonance system because both systems are tied together and they will come to global release. So pay attention. So basically the substance transformation system is a way to gamble off loot that you don't need into something new. So you will have those 20 slots here and every piece of gear that you don't need you put in there will get different points so for example if you're putting a weapon in there you get 2k if you're putting a um, armor piece in there you get 1000 if you are putting a lower crate you will obviously get less so a blue weapon is only 400 compared to the 2000 of the purple weapon your goal is to use the 20 spaces efficiently to get also rid of like bad gear this way and make more space in your inventory which was fairly limited the reward that you're getting you can see by clicking on the percentage button right here and then you are seeing different tiers of completion let's just go to the highest tier so once you have we're able to put 10,000 points in this substance transformation then you will roll and you will get four rewards for doing so the first reward will be determined based on the group so you will roll which group will be chosen and then from the group that was chosen it will then roll one of those items randomly the other ones are this right here you have a 100 guaranteed reward uh, for this you have 100 guaranteed for magic powder and now comes the interesting part you also have the 100 guarantee for trade resonance stone fragments and those fragments is the main reason why you actually want to use that system because this will allow you to unlock the newly added trade onto your gear so let me show you what it looks like if we are filling something so now we are here and we are having 200 left. If I go like this, I am basically wasting uh, a lot of points. Yeah, you can even make it. This is what I meant with like other items that you can choose. So let's say we are adding a couple other items here. And now even the white parts that are really easy accessible, you can use as filler because they will also give 9.5. And this way you are not wasting any of the resources and the value of the items. So always make sure that you are going exactly at tier 5 and not overspending since this character is only a content farm like i don't really care about um and we will go with this one you also need to make sure how to roll if you're choosing the question mark it will roll for everything if you're choosing the weapon it will only roll weapons in the groups that we have just seen but it will also be a lot more expensive for armor it's armor the same and then we are having accessory accessory only has a 50 percent increase compared to the every Day part but there is a reason why i would recommend only rolling accessories or drinks from our sponsor rogue energy because we all know i have a couple of kilos too much and rogue energy is an energy drink with only five calories per serving and if you're going for the hydration one it's even at zero calories so it's my energy of choice you can check it out in the link in the description and if you use code pony you will even get 10 percent off your next order and to understand the reasoning we have to look at the sandworm layer where the arch boss queen balandir is spawning and queen balandir has a ring that can only be dropped by queen balandir and this ring if fully upgraded to plus nine will give you three stats each so 12 stats total and in the end game you are not running like 60 from one stat and you're not able to do the others it's more like you're having 60 of your two primary stats and you're running like 30 to 40 on the other stats to get the threshold there so this ring in the end game is best in slot for a lot a lot of builds because it will give you 12 stat points and you can actually use all 12 of them it's not like any of those points will go to waste so if we are doing the substance transformation now like i said we will get an item random, but we are also getting those trade resonance stone fragments. And those will then be used to craft trade resonance stones. You will need additional ore, but also those trade resonance stone fragments right here. So let's craft one. And when you are now going into an equipment enchantment of an item that is fully traded, like my Mother Nature clothing here, and you are selecting trade, you will see the resonance effect down here. This one can only be unlocked if you have your item fully traded. So let's do it here. Holy shit, we got it first try. Okay. Um, yeah, okay. 
I, I wasn't expecting that because I actually wanted to show you how rare it is that you're actually getting the max roll for your item. Here, it's only 14%. Sorry to interrupt, but short self-promotion is needed. Currently, 91.2% of the people watching the videos are not subscribed to the channel. So let's make a deal. If you learn something new in this video, you have to subscribe. So really good that I got what I actually wanted. And I also recommend to not go into re-rolling instantly once you hit it. It is better to get one resonance unlock onto all of your gear pierces first and then start re-rolling. It's a bad example because I just hit it first try, but it is um, fairly hard in theory to actually get those and um, those hits going consecutively on all of your gear. So better have something ready on your gear that is suboptimal than later running around with resonance slots that you cannot unlock because you don't have the stones anymore. And now in the end, one little trick and how you can abuse that system a little bit and get to you the conversion tier 5 the fastest. You do so by purchasing any item in the auction house that is giving you like a little bit of value when you're putting it in. Like for example, a quality marin. The longer a server is running, the more viable that technique is. And then you can dissolve those into like smaller pieces, add them in here, and it's really easy to reach tier 5 and you can and you can start farming those resonance stones really easy. Yo, that was it with the video. If you still have any questions regarding this system or anything else in the game, just drop a comment. As always, I will answer everything in less than 24 hours. Cheers guys.